Nintendo's giving away free switches, apparently. Uh, there's a potential class action lawsuit over Joy-Con drift coming. Nintendo's got a close eye on streaming services for games. When I saw this, I was just like, oh, magical stuff happens to everyone but me. Why can't I have a magical flight adventure? Where, the, where I'm on the flight, I'm just like, my name, my own business, I go, you know what? Everybody on this flight is getting a Switch in Mario Maker 2, because that's what happened. Apparently a flight from Dallas to Los Angeles, I believe it was, Dallas to Los Angeles, I think. It was a Southwest flight, anyways. Uh, every passenger on board got a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Mario Maker 2. I think it was a digital copy. They got a little voucher, I think, from the pictures I saw on Twitter and stuff. But uh, still, you get a Switch and this awesome, this is probably a collectible, this little like Southwest voucher. People will probably pay a lot of money for that because that's like a, it's a rare, it's a rarity, all right? People that collect video games collect some weird fucking shit. Trust me, this would fetch a lot higher than the MSRP of Mario Maker 2 for $60, I'd imagine, it, especially in a few years, a couple of years at least, I don't know. And it's not gonna be redeemable at some point, but it's just this magical little fun piece of paper. But yeah, people on the flight, I don't know I don't know what the deal is. Like if, I'm sure they didn't know beforehand, right? I mean, that'd be weird if they knew beforehand, like, thanks for buying your ticket. Now, ahead of time, we're letting you know that we're giving you a Nintendo Switch. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. I don't know. I don't know how this worked. I feel like it would have been a lot better if it was a surprise, and I feel like it was probably a surprise. These motherfuckers just got on the plane. They're they're minding their business. They're just doing their stuff, and then, boom! Oh, the, the sickest thing ever! I'm sure a lot of people were like, "What is a Nintendo Switch? What is this?" And they wanted to sell it or get rid of it as fast as possible, give it to a family member, whatever. But I'm sure a lot of people were really, genuinely excited. Like, oh my god, I've been wanting a Switch. Um, it's obviously the first model of the Switch. There's a bug in here. God! Uh, it's obviously the first model of the Switch, so they're trying to get rid of some of those units. I saw a lot of comments uh, that were like, oh, trying to get rid of that, trying to get rid of that first model, Nintendo, so, so you can make room for the, for the new and improved battery-powered machine super computer Switch. <laughs> the new Switch with the amazing battery life. That's what they're making room for. That's what everybody's joking about. Which, I mean, there's going to be like some problem with this back stock, I'd imagine. Like, people want, are going to want the new Switch, and you're, I don't know if you're going to try to bamboozle them into the old one, but you're giving these motherfuckers one on the plane, one of the old Switches. Uh, you can't complain for a free $300 machine, right? You cannot be like, well, why can't you give us the Switch Lite or a Switch Mini? Which, I mean, it's $300 compared to the $200. I guess you'd rather get the original one, right? I, I don't know. I'd personally rather get the Mini because I already got the original one. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. But, uh, man, it was awesome. It was, I, I was so jealous. Seriously, I, was, sometimes I just see things online and just jealousy, jealousy just spikes. I was like, every time I've ever gotten on a plane, it's just miserable. I'm just flying through the air like, ah, I can't wait to be out of here. If I got a switch, I'd be so happy. I'd be like, this is the best day ever. I'm flying with South, Southwest for the rest of my life. Because that's just fucking cool. I don't know how many, if this is just like a one select flight thing. The little voucher for Mario Maker 2 said like, Nintendo and Southwest teaming up to bring you this awesome thing. Like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, it was so cool. And I was just like, <laughs> it's just like, why? If they're doing this for like a ton of flights, that'd be like unbelievable, right? Like that's gotta cost Nintendo and Southwest a lot of money. I don't know who's spending more money on, on whichever end, but it's, I imagine it's really good publicity for Nintendo. I'm sure it's gonna be on the news and everything. Like uh, Nintendo surprises Southwest Airlines passengers with a brand new Nintendo Switch console. Uh, and it's gonna be like, everybody's like, oh my god, I gotta get on Southwest too, because, you know, <laughs> then I, might, I might get a Switch. I don't know how, how long they're doing this for, how many flights they're doing this for, maybe it's just the one, I don't know, I didn't see that. I just saw that this is the one that got reported on. I'm like, wow, great, awesome. Everybody, I saw the picture I saw on the plane, everybody's holding up their voucher on the plane, I'm just like, oh, oh god. Uh, but what was weird is they got the Switch after they landed, which, I, I mean, I guess it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely makes more sense to that. I didn't even think about that. I just now thought about like everybody on the plane opening up their switch. <laughs> like there's gonna be a mess everywhere. People are gonna be throwing like papers and cardboard and ruining their Joy-Con straps and like not knowing how to use the system. And everything. It's gonna be a mess on the plane. It would be a fucking horrible mess. That flight attention. They're gonna be calling flight attendants. They're like, how do you turn this on? How do you do this? How? It's gonna be fucked. All right. Everybody's just gonna it, chaotic as hell. Obviously give it to him after the flight. I don't even know what I was thinking. I thought in my head I was like everyone knows how to work this thing They're gonna open it and it's gonna be you know cordial Everybody's gonna be nice and fun and they're just gonna start playing their Mario Maker 2 and then I'm like wait a minute It's gonna be mostly like random people don't give a shit about Nintendo or the Switch. I have no idea what's going on So yes, give it to them after the flight clearly. I wonder how many of these uh, 
vouchers are on eBay already. I, I, I didn't check that. I should check that. Uh, be pretty interesting to see. Uh, but yeah, super awesome stuff. Very cool Southwest and very cool Nintendo. You got me so jealous at my house that you gave an entire flight worth uh, flight of people a uh, Nintendo Switch console and Mario Maker 2. That was so awesome to see. But what is not awesome is Joy-Con Drift. Are you affected by Joy-Con Drift? Well, maybe you should call the law, office, law offices of Chimekels, Schwartz, Krenner, and Donaldson Smith. <laughs> they are looking into potentially uh, going, filing a class action lawsuit against Nintendo. They just want some of that money, baby. I don't know how a class action lawsuit works for the lawyers. In I know if you become you partake in a class action lawsuit, you get like some you get like a small little cut of the overall prize which is usually like, oh, you got $10 because your dom your Domino's order got fucked up like five years ago. Ha, ah, here you go. We were using fake cheese on Domino's pizzas for a long time. Here's $5. Like, I don't know. It's, it's always some little weird, you get like some little tiny sliver. I'm assuming the lawyers would get like a shitload. And maybe, you know, Joy-Con Drift has been popping off in the news lately. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's like, Nintendo, what are you doing? Fix this. Get it right. Get it right. We talked about it yesterday, literally. Um, which I mean, they should get it right, you know. But yeah, they're investigating whether or not they should they should move forward with this clash action lawsuit. I'm, and they were, I'd be sick if you lived in like the area of I think it's like in, it's up in the northeast, like Philadelphia or some shit, somewhere Delaware or something like that. It's uh, up there, and uh, it'd be sick to see commercials in the area uh, where you live. Like Joy-Con drift, does it affect you? Are you playing Legend of Zelda and Link just looks off into the distance for no reason? That's Joy-Con drift. It's affecting millions of Switch players. Are you one of them? Contact us now. Just like some random bullshit like that. Uh, I would love uh, to see that. I'm sure they're not gonna do that, obviously. It's just a dream of mine. I'm just dreaming here. Uh, I am doubt they're gonna promote it. Maybe they'll promote it in commercials. It's a clash action lawsuit. Maybe they'll be like, are you fucked up on Nintendo? I don't fucking know, but I saw this story through uh, Switch Force. They, ju they just made a video about it, and I was like, let's watch the Switch Force get cucked by Nintendo again. Let's go check it out, Zack and Gabe. And of course they did. Of course they were like, don't don't sue Nintendo. That's bad. I would don't. You shouldn't do. Don't sue Nintendo because they're they're our dad and they're, we're gonna be mad at you if you sue Nintendo. It's literally the vibe I was getting from them. They're like, we're not gonna link it to the thing or anything, and like, oh, this is really bad for Nintendo. Like, this is really bad. It's like, um, how about it's bad that Nintendo releases a product that doesn't work for consumers? How about that, Zack and Gabe? How about it's bad that Nintendo is ripping off its fan base? How about that, Zack and Gabe? Jesus Christ! Don't, don't worry about Nintendo, all right? They got literally billions and billions of dollars. Even if this class action lawsuit goes through and they have to pay out a little tiny ass hair bit of money to every single individual, which cumulative, cumulatively wouldn't be an ass hair, but you're getting an ass hair. Uh, it's not going to be that bad for them, right? And, and, and check this out. If they do do that, then they'll revamp the Joy-Cons. They'll fix the Joy-Cons. They'll make sure, sure Joy-Con drift is not an issue because they don't want to pay out more money. So it's better for the consumer, Zach and Gabe. Can you not get on board for the consumer? Can you... Can you can you take Nintendo's weenie out of your mouth for one second? Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just having fun roasting Switch Force, you know? I do watch them sometimes. They're not that, they're not very exciting or in, enthralling, but they've got the news and they're poignant, so sometimes they get me. Uh, but I just thought that was really funny that there's like, don't, don't sue Nintendo. Don't you do that, guys. It's not on our watch. Uh, come on, guys. Grow up. Um, but yeah, this can only improve things. If the, even even if the class action lawsuit doesn't even come to fruition, it's this is gonna get the attention of Nintendo more than anything. You know, right? Dollar signs speak volumes, right? They're like, whoa, hold on, hold, pump the brakes here, guys. Hold your horses. We'll get it sorted out. But uh, I don't think a class action lawsuit can even really work, anyways. Huh? Like Zach and Gabe said in their video, uh, doesn't Nintendo switch? Doesn't Nintendo fix issues with Joy Cons and Switches and consoles like that? Uh, ooh. Shit, don't they fix issues? Like, if, if you have a messed up Joy-Con, you can send it to them and they'll fix it for free and ship it back to you. Like, what what's the problem here? Like, literally, if there's a problem, they have already said they'll fix it. So, I don't understand what you're gonna what you're trying to achieve here. I don't think maybe this law office knows that. They, I'm sure they don't. They're just like, you've had to buy countless Joy-Cons and keep doing that, which some people do because they don't feel like sending their shit in a Nintendo, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You can fix it on your own. All these other options. It just seems kind of weird uh, that, uh, you know, that they maybe they're out of the loop i don't know that's what i'm trying to get at here okay you know what? i got jumbled there for a second but maybe they're out of the loop and they don't understand that nintendo has great customer service and they fix things all the time for everyone they were fixing original nes's for like 20 years or something for like the longest time 
I'm sure they will still fix like Wii U's and Wii's and, and 3DS is for sure guaranteed 100% they'll fix that. All these things they're going to fix like for a while, especially Switch, all right? So you got a problem with the Joy-Con, send that motherfucker in and they will fix it, okay? And more more often than not, the Joy-Con drift is a result of like dust or like something getting under the controller that you can clean out with like rubbing alcohol and then it's fine. So it's really not on Nintendo's fault that you got a dusty ass room. I, I mean, clean up, clean up after yourself, all right? So I guess we'll see where this leads. If this does come to fruition, you better believe I will be citing that class action lawsuit, all right? I've got some serious Joy-Con drift issues right now. So uh, <laughs> I'll be signing away just to show Nintendo. We're not playing games. But Nintendo is looking like they're playing some games, all right? They're, they're, Doug Bowser recently commented on a Nintendo looking at streaming games. I'm like, hold on. Take it easy, Doug. Take it easy. All right, streaming games. You you need to focus on getting your online right first. Okay, right. You can't even do. You can't even come close to doing online right. Xbox and PlayStation got it right, literally over a decade ago, and you're still struggling. And you're like, you know what? We might just jump headfirst into streaming games because we really know what we're doing. No, you don't. I mean, can you imagine Nintendo streaming games? Like that would be the worst thing ever. And you're like, Shane, they already did it in Japan. Uh, yeah, Resident Evil 7 and Assassin's Creed and something else or blah 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 like and I heard they I heard they were like horrible like they ran horribly That's what I heard. I know if, at least if you were an American and you try to play it It was straight garbage, but you're like the servers are in Japan Shane the servers are in Japan So what if I live in like Montana or something and it's somewhere decently far from where the servers are gonna be in America It's still gonna suck Nintendo can't do this. They won't be able to do this for a really long time Focus on your online Nintendo. Don't get ahead of yourself. You're getting ahead of yourselves here But I got a quote directly from Doug Bowser that he said to Fortune Magazine, which was really confusing to me, and I'm about to break it down why I thought it was weird that he's the way he said this. But he said, and I quote, the Switch delivers on a lot of the promises and then in brackets of streaming. I don't know why, like he didn't say that and they added it in because they knew he was representing, I don't know what they're, but anyways, the Switch delivers on a lot of the promises of streaming. It's a device where you can play anywhere at any time with anyone. It's obviously something that we're closely watching and looking at and understanding. And I'm like, you say you're looking close at it, but did, did you never look close at the online? But that's not what I'm, that's not what's confusing here. The confusing part is that he said it delivers on a lot of the promises of streaming. And then he goes on to say, it's a device where you can play anywhere at any time with anyone. I'm like, what does that have to do with video game streaming? Literally, if you're video game streaming, you need to have the best internet possible right next to your router. And you better not move a muscle, all right? Or your stream is gonna lag and it's gonna be fucked, all right? Video game streaming is pure trash right now. You can't you can't stream anywhere. You're like, I'm just on the go at the airport, just game streaming away. That's that wouldn't work, Nintendo. What are you talking about? How does that make how does that correlate to streaming at all? Literally, video game streaming, you need to be in your house with the best internet, and you better not try to move away from that router. Jesus Christ, you better not try. And you're like, Shane, they're gonna have 5G. Have fun getting it, your organs melted by 5G, Jesus Christ! <laughs> but seriously, though, um, it just that just doesn't that doesn't correlate to the video game streaming at all. You're talking about a handheld. You're all you're talking about is handheld gaming. Maybe you're getting confused with streaming and handheld gaming. I don't know, but they say they're looking at it and they're trying to understand it. And I'm like, don't just don't do it, Nintendo. All right? Maybe you could get a get a get a handle on it in like five years. But seriously, please. Focus on what you're already not very good at right now. Uh, get that running great, do all that. Then we'll talk about game streaming. Game streaming is not ready at all right now. The Google Stadia or Stradia or whatever the thing is Stadia looks like pure hell, pure hellfire on earth. Every single person that's looked at it has said, no thank you, not for me Google. And Google's over here thinking they're gonna be revolutionizing the gaming, revolutionizing the gaming industry. That thing is gonna be gone within a year, all right? No one's gonna want it. It's, the prices are exorbitant, Google. You're, 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 you think just because you're Google that you're just gonna nail it? Look at the Google Pixel. Have you been nailing it? No, it looks like a great phone, but you're not nailing it. Not at all, not even close. Uh, and this is gonna be the same situation. No one, like Xbox is trying to get into the game streaming scene, PlayStation is too as well, but none of, no one's doing it great. No one wants game streaming right now. Maybe you do, but you're a silly Sally. You're not the average person. Uh, especially if you live in places with bad internet. So, I mean, we're not there yet. We're just not there yet. Nintendo, you're definitely nowhere near there yet. So don't even think about it, Buster. Uh, like I said, give it, you let everyone else work on it for like five years, and then you maybe can try. You're grounded. 
If you want to look like this badass motherfucker on screen right here, hit up our merch store, fugamecrew.bigcartel.com. We got shirts, we got mugs, we got all that fun stuff. Uh, if you want to support the channel, but you don't want to buy merch, hit up our Patreon, patreon.com slash fugamecrew for as low as a dollar a month. You can really help out the channel a lot. Links to everything in the description, that, my personal channel, RSK channel, all that fun stuff. Go get down there, go play, and have some fun, and I'll see you later. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support.